Hi, my name is Anirudh Mahajan. I'm an applications engineer with Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm going to show you how to use and evaluate Max20796. I will show you how to set up the Max20796 EV kit and do the low transient demo. So let's go look at the EV kit. Let's take a look at Max20796 EV kit. We have uh, Max20796 IC installed on the top side along with the two-phase coupled inductor, which is eight millimeters in height. For the three-phase operation, we can have Max20766 IC installed right next to Max20796, and we can have a three-phase coupled inductor, which is also eight millimeter in height, uh, in place of the two-phase coupled inductor. We can uh, we hook the input voltage in uh, using the banana connectors on the V in and ground jack. We have a screw terminal to connect the V out to the load. We also have uh, another connector to connect the low mini load board. We have two switches, S1 and S2 on board. S1 controls the 3.3 volts power supply on board, which is needed for auxiliary supplies. And S2 controls the enable switch for MAX20796, which starts or stops the regulation. We have a green LED inside the switch, which comes up when the MAX20796 is regulating. We have a dongle connection, which communicates with the GUI using the PM bus interface. We also have the SMB jacks on board to measure the V out and the V in uh, voltages as well. Now let's connect the uh, input power supply with the board. Connect the ground of the power supply to the ground uh, banana jack terminal and input power supply to the, the positive power supply to the input of the banana jack terminal. Also, connect the ribbon cable from the max power tool GUI with the max power tool connector which is given on the board. Make sure that the pin one, which is denoted by a small arrow on the EV kit, matches with the, the red ribbon wire. Now turn on the power supply, and 3.3 uh, and power supply should be on, and we get the green LED. Once we turn on, now we will talk about how to use the GUI to communicate with the MAX20796 EV kit and change the compensation parameters. On your computer, open the Maxim Digital Power GUI. When you open the GUI, if you're not using the MUX, just keep the default settings and press OK, and Max Power Tool GUI will open up. Max Power Tool GUI will search the bus and find the address of the, of the Max20796 device, which in this case is 11. If you have more than one Max20796 devices, each device will pop up with a different tab. On the dashboard, you can see whether the MAX20796 is regulating, whether the power grid is on, and if there are any faults. When I start regulating MAX20796 by toggling the enable switch on, on the EV kit, we can see that the power grid is on, and it shows MAX20796 is enabled. If we go in the MAX20796 tab, we can set up the compensation in the PM bus command tab. We can change the Vout command, we can change the switching frequency, we can change the PWM ramp, IDES gain, uh, frequency zero, R int, and all the other settings for the compensation. If the MAX20796 EV kit shows fault, we can check which fault it is showing. This uh, window shows all the commonly occurring faults and the thresholds for these faults. So press the clear fault button to clear the fault. Now let's take a look at the load transient. We will be using mini load board from Maxim Integrated Cloud and Data Center Business Unit. I will plug in the mini load board into the Max20796 EV kit. I am connecting channel one of the scope using the SMB cable to the V out, which is the J9 connector on the Max20796 EV kit. For the load mini load board, I am connecting the signal generator input to the wave in and one volt on the signal generator is equivalent to 100 amps. So please adjust your uh, uh, load current and the voltage values accordingly and you can adjust your slew rate as well. The channel two of the scope is going into the mini load board I out. So we can monitor the uh, current waveform coming out of the max20796 load transient. Please make sure to connect the power to the mini load board and the fan will start running. 
as I said earlier, the channel 1 of the scope is connected to the V out and channel 2 of the scope is connected to the I out and signal generator here is supplying the load transient voltage to the mini load board. Now if we turn the output of the signal generator on, as we can see on the scope, we have a load transient from 15 amps to 30 amps with a 10 amps per microsecond slew rate. As showed earlier, we can change the compensation parameters from the GUI and see the load transient performance change. For example, if I change the IDES gain value to 0.98 instead of the default value, we see that the load transient becomes more stable because we reduce the bandwidth. Thank you for watching Max20796 demo video. Uh, if you have any further questions, please contact Maxim Integrated. Thank you.